Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 47. In this video, we will discuss the advanced puzzle solving technique called Unique Rectangle Type 3. All the uniqueness puzzle solving techniques are based on the one solution rule. The one solution rule means for a Sudoku to be considered valid, it must only have one solution. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. When looking for Unique Rectangle Type 3, the first thing we do is highlight all the cells having two possible candidates. Next, we are going to look for two cells in the same row or column having the same two possible candidates. We found the first half of a type 3 pattern. Next, we begin searching for adjacent cells completing the type 3 pattern. We have found a complete unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. The unique rectangle type 3 pattern is composed of four cells as shown. Two of the four cells have the same two possible candidates. The other two cells have some number of additional candidates. The additional candidates in both cells form a single virtual cell with the number 7 and 8 now highlighted in purple. Next we look for a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet in the houses shared by the two cells highlighted in purple. In this example, we are looking in the house making up row 7 and the house making up block 9. In this example, cell 7, 4 together with our virtual cell form a naked pair with the possible 7 and 8 candidates. Next, we identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill in our kill zone. The kill zone is defined by the naked pair of the cell 7, 4 with our virtual cell candidates. Before we remove the non-possible candidates, let's consider the logic for how the unique rectangle type 3 pattern works. Assume the cell 7, 8 does not have the value of 7, and assume the cell 7, 9 does not have the value of 8, as shown by being blotted out in black. We now have a set of naked pairs in the four houses the cells are participating in. We can therefore blot out all the other possible 4 and 9 candidates in the cells shared by the four houses, as shown. But now we have a problem. At this point in the puzzle, we have no way to determine through logic which value we should choose in the four cells making up the type 3 pattern. Since we have to guess, we now have two valid solutions for the same puzzle. This violates our rule of having a unique solution for the puzzle. Therefore, we must conclude either cell 7, 8 has a value of 7, or cell 7, 9 must have a value of 8. This then means the target candidates in our kill zone are non-possible candidates. This is because the candidates making up our virtual cell must be used to complete the naked pair with cell 7, 4. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle as shown. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We've already identified a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle now highlighted. The additional candidates in the one set of cells form a single virtual cell with the additional candidates highlighted in purple. Next, we look for a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet in the houses shared by the two cells highlighted in purple. In this example, we are looking in the house making up row 3 and the house making up block 1. We mark the other cells having our virtual cell candidates as required to form a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. In this example, the cell 3, 3 together with our virtual cell form a naked pair with the possible 6 and 7 candidates. We identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Notice with this type 3 naked pair example, the kill zone occurs over two shared houses with the three cells highlighted in purple. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle as shown. Next consider the following Sudoku in progress. We've already identified a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle now highlighted. The additional candidates in the one set of cells form a single virtual cell with the additional candidates highlighted in purple. Notice both virtual cells have the possible 3 candidate. Even though the possible 3 candidate occurs twice, we only consider it as a single number in our virtual cell. Next we look for a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet in the houses shared by the two cells highlighted in purple. In this example, we are looking at the house making up column 3 and the house making up block 1. We mark the other cells having our virtual cell candidates as required to form a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. In this example, cell 7, 3 together with the virtual cell form a naked pair with the possible 2 and 3 candidates. We identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle as shown. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We've already identified a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle now highlighted. 
The additional candidates in the one set of cells form a single virtual cell with the additional candidates highlighted in purple. Next, we look for a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet in the houses shared by the two cells highlighted in purple. In this example, we are looking in the house making up column 9 and the house making up block 6. We mark the other cells having our virtual cell candidates as required to form a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. In this example, the cell 2, 9 and the cell 3, 9, together with our virtual cell, form a naked triple with the possible 4, 5, and 9 candidates. We identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle as shown. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We've already identified a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle now highlighted. The additional candidates in the one set of cells form a single virtual cell with the additional candidates highlighted in purple. Next, we look for a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet in the houses shared by the two cells highlighted in purple. In this example, we are looking in the house making up column 5 and the house making up block 8. We mark the other cells having our virtual cell candidates as required to form a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. In this example, the cell 3, 5, the cell 4, 5, and the cell 6, 5, together with our virtual cell, form a naked quad with a possible 2, 3, 4, and 6 candidates. We identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle as shown. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. We've already identified a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle now highlighted. The additional candidates in the one set of cells form a single virtual cell with the additional candidates highlighted in purple. Next, we look for a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet in the houses shared by the two cells highlighted in purple. In this example, we are looking in the house making up row 9 and the house making up block 7. We mark the other cells having our virtual cell candidates as required to form a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. In this example, the cell 9, 1, 5, 7, and 8, together with our virtual cell, form a naked quintet with the possible 2, 5, 6, 7, and 8 candidates. We identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. It's not very often a naked quintet does anything meaningful in solving a Sudoku puzzle, but in this example, it is key to solving the whole puzzle. We remove the non-possible candidates from the puzzle as shown. Time to test what you have learned. Before we begin, please remember to take some time to support DX Sudoku. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. We have identified the unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next, identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next, identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next, identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next, identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next, identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next, identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. 
Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. Pause the video and find a unique rectangle type 3 pattern in the puzzle. Next identify the virtual cell candidates and determine if we have a naked pair, triple, quad, or quintet. Identify the kill zone and target candidates to kill. Here is the solution. This completes the Exodoku training video number 47. Please support the Exodoku. Thank you for watching.